condition of our hear me now can you guys hear me press the number nine if you guys can hear me press the number nine I need to know if you guys can hear me so press the number nine great can you see me Clearly, and can you hear me clearly? You know, people are so weird out there online. It's always, yo, what kind of phone you got? You got to upgrade your phone. You never heard about people traveling and different types of internet services? It's like, grow up, man. This is one, the number one reason why so much black men are failing. It's because they goofy and they joke around entirely too much. And it just, it's just, sometimes it's just not time for all of that. Sometimes you got to just stay focused and locked in and see about the information that you can get. And then just use your damn common sense and stop being so, so filled with hate that you got to conclude, oh, he must got a bad phone. Instead of saying it's about internet service. Stop being so damn goofy. You know, and people say, yo, don't let that get to you polite. It gets to me because I'm like, I'm a black man. And when I look at the state and condition of our people, I know that the young brothers become older men and they play around too much. They don't know when to turn it off and get locked in. Instead of saying, yo, bro, I can't really hear you. I can't see you clearly. Uh, position yourself. Y'all know I travel a lot. Position yourself and let's see what can happen. But anyway, anyway, point of the matter is, Again, you know, it's brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. Uh, we have a heck of a course going on, the master course. And tomorrow, we will be intensely going through the credit restoration. I really want to talk to you about holistic mathematics. I'm going to be doing that later on today on Facebook. Uh, holistic mathematics to kind of just prep you because that's going to be the class after the credit. Okay? Uh, that we're going to be doing. The master course consists of learning how to make money off of insurance, tax lien, tax deed, real estate holistic mathematics and also credit restoration so you get all that in one i don't like the fact people be sleeping on the credit i mean the uh, holistic mathematics that's very important people should also be purchasing the course for the holistic mathematics but we don't take our health into consideration but what good is all the money you make if you're not if your health isn't restored so you worrying about restoring your credit you also got to worry about restoring your health so i, I need to build about that I don't want you just taking the course because the credit or the insurance money or the real estate monies. Realize the wealth in your health. Realize that as well. But the course is 225 discounted rate. It's supposed to be 300. You know, uh, it's, it's six different classes. Anything you miss, you'll always be able to recoup. But it's going down for sure tomorrow. It's going to be amazing. Today I got PDFs being sent to you. A PDF version to the PowerPoint. The PowerPoint that I have for you. For, to, for today. You're going to get a PowerPoint this evening in your email. And it's going to go over instructions. Instructions that I went over and some I didn't go over. These are instructions that ensure that you get that black card. Ensure that you get the black card and ensure that you get credit cards that give you a five-figure limit. You know, the goal is always around 50000 Hopefully we get you two of those so you have hundred grand at your disposal. So you're one-tenth of a millionaire like that through credit. Because too many of us attempt to put money under the mattress and save up till we get to a certain dollar amount. And that's just not how it works. I'm going to go into holistic mathematics very soon. Don't worry about if you miss one and two. Those are going to be sent out to you as well. So don't worry about it. If you miss one and two, don't worry about it. You'll get those classes. Not a problem. Okay? Just wait till you get the email today to determine what you have and what you don't. All right? So I'm about to go over holistic mathematics, but I just wanted to make it clear as far as mailing procedure, sending out the mail to creditors and financial institutions alike through signature confirmation, green card receipt, chain of custody, registered mail. That's very important. 
that's very important. You want to make sure you got you're on top of that because that's the legitimized way to send those affidavits out that are for letters, those templates that are for letters and affidavits to be sent to credit bureaus and financial institutions alike. I need you to send it out the exact way I tell you to send it out. I need it to be done the exact way because I know the results that come from doing it the way that I tell you. If you deviate at any point of time, you're going to have to tell me what kind of results you got. And I don't want to do it that way because you hired me to make sure you can get the job done a certain way and I want to make sure I get it done that way. So when I tell you to get a landline, it's for a reason. By now, I gave you all enough time to get those landlines. That's to get approval for the black card. There's a reason for that. That's also to help with your credit. There's a reason for that. Okay, because I'm, I have you doing things so you can add positive items to your report as well. Then we also have to talk about maturation dates for debt because there's an amount of time allotted to people in every state where debt expires and you need to know that because if, you, if they still say you owe money after that maturation date, it's not only illegal, but it's impacting you negatively on the score. So you need to get that out the way. Those of you that's applying for jobs left and right, you need to make sure you communicate with LexisNexis. You need to make sure you know what to say to people that you're applying for jobs with and how to properly apply. So that way everybody's not perusing through your credit, lowering your score. You go out there and you say, man, I'm not lazy. I'm out here. I done filled out 15 applications today. I done applied for 15 different jobs. You mess around and your credit got checked 13, 15 times. It's not good when your credit keeps getting checked, let alone if you out here looking for a job. So now looking for a job can impact you negatively unless you understand how to go about applying for a job. Unless you understand how to send conveyance to LexisNexis properly, registered mail, green card receipt, signature confirmation by your chain of custody. Okay? These are things that are extremely important. These are things that I need you to put to task. Extremely important. All right? And then, like I said, adding positive items to your credit report is as important as removing negative items from your credit report. Never forget that. Okay? That's why, yeah, so the cost is $225. It's supposed to be $300. I'm doing my best to keep it at that rate. All right? It is $300, really, but it's $225 right now, discounted rate. And you just email your full name, phone number when you're ready, and we get to work. When you're ready to make the purchase, you forward your email to brother, P O L I G H T 45 at gmail.com. Brother, P O L I G H T 45 at gmail.com. Yeah, so you make it happen, man. Change your life. It's, it's, it's ridiculous that people say that they're struggling. Like the last video I posted on Instagram, people complain they're struggling, life is hard. But then I give you this information for free, and then I have courses where we can meticulously go through it because it takes time. Creating those PowerPoints, turning them into PDFs, where I'm going step by step what to do and understanding the nuances and the particulars because I've been doing this for so long. I kind of got a grasp of some of the most of the questions that would be asked, most of the things you would probably do wrong, most of the things you wouldn't understand if I conveyed it in its colloquial terms. So I even got to I go to step further to make sure you get it right. And then that's why, like, my instructions alone should have you get things right. However, you couple those instructions with the video detail that I do when I do the live streams and everything. You're good money. But like I said, class is tomorrow. Whether you miss it or not, you'll be able to review it per the link. But do your best to see if you can review it live. That's right. Class is tomorrow. You'll see it around 6 p.m. 6 p.m. And like I said, don't don't waste time. You don't have to call and talk to an administrator or myself and say, yeah, I'm about to do it. Uh, and then lie. And then never call again. You don't have to do that. So I want to explain to people, don't do that because we're not able to contact everybody that reaches out. So when you contact and you say, hey, yeah, I'm about to do this, but like, yeah, you know, I'm just going to run down the block and handle this and then we're ready. And you making people talk to you for no reason. It's $225. This kind of, and a lot of the questions y'all ask, it'd be right on the video. But you don't watch the video and you just, you just call and you want people to go over the whole video if you're over the phone. The purpose of us doing the video so you don't have to go through all of that. That's the purpose. Eastern time, 6 p.m. Eastern time. See the video, we address all of that. But yeah, if you're serious, you email brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. 
you leave your full name and your phone number. I've, I have enough videos up where I'm showing you some of the templates, the whole template actually, where I read the whole thing and I give you an idea of what's going on. We have 33 templates that are letters and affidavits to be sent to financial institutions and credit bureaus alike for the purposes of removing negative items off your report, adding positive items to your report, boosting your credit score. And we also make sure that your wealth score quotient is right. Like my bro, like my man, uh, Mr. Brown, he be putting in that pain and he be letting you know about the wealth score quotient. So no matter how good your credit score is, you'll still be limited to getting six figures, limited to getting five figures line of credit. Look at these beautiful people right here. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, brother for life 45 gmail.com. You leave your full name and your phone number. Yeah, I just need like a few more minutes. I'm good. Yeah. You hit brother polite 45. Brother P O F. No, that's not the right email. That's you spell polite P O L I G A C. I actually wrote it there and pinned it to the top. P O L I G H T 45. There you go. That's the right one. All you got to do is look what I pinned to the top. And never send an email without your phone number. And always send a subject. You can't get no views because you rich niggas. King Agoni, you funny. <laughs> they say you're so beautiful. <laughs> she is, right? Come back and see that beautiful throw. We got puffs today. Doing puffs. That looks amazing. Baby girl knocked out. Matching head to toe, both of them. Show them baby girl shoes. Oh. <laughs> baby girl got rocking the shoes too. <laughs> Mommy and baby girl matching. Getting it in. But yeah, so with the holistic mathematics, which is part of the course, after we finish with the credit restoration, you need to get into holistic mathematics. Now, holistic mathematics is a term that I put together. I coined it because I'm specifically interested in the mathematics that is responsible for our wellness. You're not going to be well without considering the mathematics thereof. Facts. So I don't care what anyone teaches you about health. If, if, if it doesn't feel like a math class at some point or the other, if you're not weighing things, if you're not looking at a plate based on measurements, like if your plate of food just looks like food and it doesn't look like grams and ounces and time, if you're not using measurements, that food should look like measurements, that food should look like hours or minutes, that food should look like grams and ounces, that's what that food should look like, and if it doesn't look like that, you inevitably will be sick, because you cannot win guessing for the rest of your life, it's a fact, you know what happens when people get sick, they have to do the math, you know, say a word, when people get sick, I'll give you an example. When someone gets diabetes, right? Now they have to start checking their blood sugar levels. They got all sorts of apps and everything that they start watching out for. They put the patch on their arm and they start checking their blood sugar levels. Why don't we check our blood sugar levels before we get diabetes? Why we wait till we get diabetes to then start checking the blood sugar levels? You see what I'm saying? Why do we get into the math when we're in a state of duress? Okay? And so that's why when I talk to my daughter... I'm always drilling her about the information as it relates to mathematics. So when I talk to my daughter, I'm always talking to my daughter about uh, what's the standardized amount of protein for the sedentary. What is the sedentary males and the sedentary females amount of protein intake they're supposed to take day to day. Sedentary meaning inactive because most people are not as active as they're supposed to be. Most people are not as active as they're supposed to be. These are facts. So, because most people are not as active as they're supposed to be, there's an average amount of grams of so-called protein they need. And in the holistic mathematics, you'll see why I say so-called protein. I'd rather address it as amino acids. Hold on. I'd rather address, yeah. I'd rather address it as amino acids, right? No, sedentary, sedentary, not sedimentary, sedentary. So sedentary just, sedent, you gonna handle it? See if you can, so I don't slow things down. Uh, sedentary, sorry, 
I'll just do my best not to make an excuse and get the information off where I can get it off. So sedentary means inactive. Like if you got a job that demands that you drive the bus all day, you're sitting down, you're riding, you're driving Uber, you're sitting down most of the day. You got a desk job, you're sitting down most of the day. So most of us have sedentary lifestyles. We're not as active as we should be. Most of us are not athletes. If you're athletic, if you're, a, if you're an athlete or you have an athletic disposition or lifestyle, then you'll need more of what I'm talking about. But the average sedentary male and sedentary female needs to take in, the female needs to take in at least 46 grams of protein and the male needs to take in at least 56 grams of protein. What is that average amount of fiber that the average female should take in? About eight tenths of an ounce. It's gonna start slowing down because your body's acclimated to not using energy on demand. It's acclimated to saying, yo, we need to properly allocate and appropriate these energies. Hold, hold on real quick, family. I, I mean, that's it. Y'all can handle it while I'm doing what I'm doing. I just gave her the joint. The bus already down here. Huh? The bus already down here. Oh, all right. So just give me like five minutes and I'll close out. Yeah, so now that your body is saying, oh, we got to slow down our ability to access energy, when you eat food, your body, your body says slow down the metabolism. Slow down the rate of efficiency for how we convert food into energy. And once your body slows down the rate of efficiency, efficiency for how it converts food into energy, that means you'll gain weight more now after eating. Once you start eating, you'll start gaining weight quicker. So a person to fast and start putting on pounds and wondering, and then they start saying stupid shit like, Oh, I got a genetic predisposition to gaining weight. So even though, I, even when I stop eating, I be gaining weight. It's because you don't understand the math that corresponds with losing or gaining weight and what you need to eat before fasting and what you need to eat when you break fast in order to make sure your metabolism is doing what you want it to do. Because you see, in fact, the metabolism, your body is doing everything you want it to do. But that doesn't entail your ignorance. So whatever you're doing is dictating to your body what you want get what you want it to get done. If you don't understand your body, you don't realize the instructions that you're giving your body. All right. So if we're talking about fiber, which is very important because we want to be able to digest and get rid of the waste products, we don't want them staying in the body. If I tell you that you need about eight tenths of an ounce of fiber, right? Or you need for a female, one point twenty six ounces of fiber for a male. I'm basically telling you two avocados and about 10 strawberries. That's just an example. <clears throat> two avocados almost solves the riddle. Okay? Eat, eat two whole avocados in the morning. Boom. All right? Two avocados and about 10 strawberries. And you can say, yo, I got my fiber, my fiber for the day. You might want to spread it out. Uh, uh, protein. This is all about protein, which I don't like the word, but we're going to use it for, for sake of building because not all protein is good because gluten is a form of protein. So you might be reading something on a package that tell you how much grams of protein it has, and you may not know that that protein is gluten. And gluten contributes to the fat just beneath the, derm the dermis layer of the skin, right? And then it contributes to the fat called the visceral fat. So it contributes to the fat that's in front of the abs and behind the abs, right? Because when your body has too much garbage in the system, particularly fat, the place where it stores it, the fat cells, is in the stomach. And then it goes to it whenever you need it later on. That's why fasting can help you lose weight, especially in the stomach area or the abdominal area. Because that's where your body keeps the excess energy. They store it in fat cells. So when you're fasting, you want to meet the energy, your body starts extracting the energy from the fat cells that's normally visceral, which is the fat that's right behind the abs that causes the abdominal area to protrude, which causes your pelvic area to lean forward, which puts your knee and your ankle out of alignment, throws off the consequence portion, which is behind the knee, which offsets ankle problems or swelling in the knee because gravity plays a toll and the inflammation has to go down in the body. This is called anterior pelvic tilt. It throws your whole spinal column and everything out of alignment. It makes you feel like you have an anvil on you is an anvil bearing culture so synergistic dominance takes place what that means is that we do everything to cater to the front of our bodies 
meaning we want to exercise so you can see our pectorals, exercise so you see our biceps. We don't want to exercise so you can really see our lower back. There's no real glory in looking at a beautiful lower back like there's glory in looking at abs. If abs could be in the back of us, we would have done did that worked out our ab game a long time ago. Okay, but this is a whole bunch of other information. But the reality is this. This is what I was telling you from before. If you don't know the mathematics that corresponds with health, you're inevitably going to be sick. Because while someone like myself knows, oh, all I need is 10 strawberries and 2 avocados and I got my daily fiber intake. What is that for somebody else who's just eating at random because they like stuff? Or Yeah, you could, even, you could hear that a food is good for you, but it doesn't mean you're eating the right amount. You don't even know what the right amount is based on your own health complications or inconsistencies. You need to know what the hell is going on with your body so you can determine how much of what you need to eat instead of just eating any random amount. Does that make sense? So people just be thinking, oh man, you just need a certain amount of meat. So I say, okay, if we know, this is a math, let's do the math again. How long does it take for carbohydrates to convert into necessary energy or fuel for your body? How long does it take for fat? How long does it take for protein to convert into the energy that you need to use for the body? Carbohydrates takes one to two hours. One to two hours for carbohydrates to turn into the energy you need. Proteins take three to four hours to turn to the energy you need. Fat takes five to six hours to turn to the energy you need. Now when I look at my plate of food, now I look at it as a potential six hours duration of intervals of energy. And carb energy, protein energy, and fat energy are different types of energy, but energy nonetheless. And this is why your circadian rhythm tells you not to eat after 10.30. Because if you eat at 10.30, what happens? 11.30, 12.30, 1.30, 2.30, 3.30, 4.30. You have energy going through your body for six hours straight into 4.30. And those are the hours you need to, in order for your endocrine system to be effective, you need to go into a REM sleep, which is the deepest hour of sleep. It's almost like you're unconscious. It's your deepest hour of sleep, and it happens in intervals throughout the night. It doesn't happen one stretch because then you'll be dead or unconscious. So your body has to put you in a deep state of sleep over and over in intervals about 30 to 40 minutes each. Whenever you go into your REM sleep, that's when the endocrine system in this particular instance, there's plenty of other systems. The endocrine system is responsible for hormonal regulation. Hormones are instructions. These instructions are valuable to life. Why? Because the shock that your body has gone through between people being negative, breathing in toxic air, Okay, um, breathing in toxic air, walking against concrete with your organs going in shock because the impact every time you take a step on concrete, your organs are shaking. Your body has to heal, so it has to send hormones. Hormones are instructions, you have to send instructions to not be. You should definitely lighten up on what you're eating between 10 30 and 6 a.m. and understand that when you're dealing with those hours, that's the time when your endocrine system, your hormone regulation says, okay, the shock that this person went through today, we need to distribute instructions for how they need to go into the next day so they can be prepared for the type of warfare that they're going to have to undergo. Many of you are never prepared for the warfare that you got to go through on a day-to-day -day basis because you don't get a chance to reset because you don't even go into your deepest sleep. There's like four different types of sleeps you go through and the deepest one is REM. But if you got energy shooting through your body because your plate of food represent, represents six hours, then every two, four, six hours and everything in between, you keep interrupting your deepest sleep so your body never gets a chance to reset. Here's an example. When a person produces cortisol, that's a hormone. Hormones are instructions. If something is making you scared, nervous, overwhelmed, giving you anxiety, fearful. If you're, if you're feeling any of this during the day, you may not be able to pay your bill or something to that effect. If you're feeling any of that during the day, it's a fight or flight response, right? So cortisol is an instruction that the body gives. It's a hormone. Hormones are instructions. So cortisol says, hey, you know what we need to do? We need you to go blank. We need you to forget about what's taking place around you. We need you to not consider what's going on. We need you to blank everything out. So when a person produces cortisol, 
that's when the stress levels go high. They tend to forget things that they already know. They tend to not be ready to make decisions because right now your body is just trying to protect you by making you separate yourself from whatever's taking place that's making you afraid. So if I'm teaching you something, if you're teaching your children and you're making your child afraid while you're teaching them, cortisol levels go up and then get the opposite takes place for the result that you want for your child. And your child starts forgetting everything you're telling them. They blank out. They can't even hear you no more. They're in a different world because cortisol is telling them, go into this happy place away from all of this negativity. And the same thing happens to adults. And this is why sometimes in extreme cases, people can forget that they got raped or forget the whole experience because the stress level was so high that the cortisol gave instructions to separate you from that. And that's why a certain amount of stress can actually separate you from your conscious because your body will do anything to protect you from whatever's causing you to hurt yourself. Here's another form of instructions. If you're not getting enough omega-3, which you can get from walnuts, because the skin of walnuts have selenium in it, and selenium causes a growth and production of serotonin, and the serotonin helps produce endorphins or happy hormones, or happy instructions. Keeps you happy. If you're not getting enough omega-3, you're not getting enough hormones called serotonin, hormones or instructions, Ser serotonin, instructs you to be happy and not give in to depression so if you're not getting enough instructions from serotonin the very opposite takes place and you wind up depressed and paranoid and dealing with self-doubt so you need enough omega-3 in your diet so you got to know what to eat that has it throughout the day you need the instructions to maintain happiness okay so walnuts is a prime source because walnuts not only have omega-3, but because the skin has selenium in it, it has a, a, an omega-3 in it that doesn't exist on no other part of the planet Earth, only in walnuts. But you can also get omega-3 from avocados. But avocados have a conventional omega-3 that you also get from fish oil. But we don't want to deal with that, so we, want to, but we don't want all the other stuff that the fish Because avocados have antibacterial and antioxidant flavonoids. We're going to talk about that on the Facebook live stream. But again, for this holistic mathematics, I got to get ready to stop. Shit, I got to get ready to get up out of here. So, uh, damn, I'm so mad. I got to get up out of here. But I thank you guys. But I just want you to know, <laughs> Bodega is so funny. My man Chris is so funny. But oh, Omega-3 has, uh, pardon me, walnuts have selenium in the skin, which boosts the production of serotonin. Serotonin is a hormone and hormones are instructions. And the instruction for serotonin is to keep you happy. So if you're not getting enough omega-3 or access to selenium, you're not getting enough instructions from the hormone serotonin to keep you up in spirits. So some people are not just necessarily jackasses or just low frequency people. Their diet makes them behave the way that they are okay and also if we want to get certain grams of protein 10 walnuts right give you about 10 grams of protein look at that so I get 10 grams of protein from just 10 walnuts how about that one that's powerful and then I got to find out how much grams of protein does the average person eat sedentary average inactive or more active well, the average male needs 56 grams, and the average female needs 46 grams. So if I eat 10 walnuts, I've already conquered one-fifth damn near, or one-fourth of what I need for the day. Now, are we going to just eat a whole cup of walnuts, and, and a cup of walnuts about 80 grams of protein? Are we gonna, nah, we ain't going to do that necessarily, because we don't want to OD on the amount of selenium, because what we're doing, we want to do this every day for our medicine. So we want to eat. Uh, about five to ten walnuts every day and we know we solidify 10 grams of protein space we accommodated for that but at the same rate we don't want to make a mistake and taking too much of the selenium that's inside of the skin of the walnuts so that's why you got to spread out your sources and make sure your sources don't contradict each other if you blend your sources or eat them together so right now we had 10 grams of walnut pardon me we had 10 walnuts two avocados and 10 strawberries. Right now, we're doing this just to maintain our homeostasis, our osmoregulation, 
our metabolism. These are very key words they don't teach you in school. And this is why most of society is fucking nuts. Most of society is nuts. 90% of all Americans are vitamin D deficient. When you're vitamin D deficient, your anxiety, your stress, self-doubt, and suicidal thoughts in extreme cases manifest. So when you see all these school shootings and everything taking place, please take into consideration 90% of America is vitamin D deficient. So 90% of America has too much stress levels. And vitamin D is an essential vitamin. So that means it's only made organically through the means of plants and animals. So what happens is you have to get sun exposure in order to produce vitamin D. But if your job has you indoors when the sun is out and when you finish working the sun is down and when you go to lunch the skyscrapers are scraping the sky they're blocking the sun you're not getting enough sun as part of your diet so when you become vitamin D deficient it again affects your emotional stability your whole psychology is out of whack you feel what I'm saying so when I tell you you also need holistic mathematics you will see, after just listening to me in the course and taking instructions, I guarantee you the way you approach reading, studying, dealing with issues, adversity, your relationships, uh, your ability to be erect or get wet, like all of that stuff. You're going to see, it's, you're going to feel like a whole new human being just by saying, oh man, mathematically looking at your plate and saying, I get it, I don't. And if you got a, a sweet sugar tooth craving and all that, don't worry about that. Because when you take in this type of regimen, for some reason, your brain rewires and then you don't want it no more. Your brain will establish the natural affinity it has to the foods that make you feel better. It will shut off the addiction to sugar and alcohol and all that. It will shut it off. Your brain will shut it off once you start taking in the right food. You eat 10 walnuts a day and you're going to realize your craving for sugar is going to diminish. And these foods that I'm telling you about, walnut and, and because of the uh, antioxidant flavonoids, you're going to realize the craving is going to diminish. You're going to realize that as well. You feel what I'm saying? You're going to realize your food cravings are going to diminish. You're not going to feel like eating more than necessary. Because you only feel like eating more than necessary when the food doesn't feed the cells. So you got to keep in mind that when you be eating three times a day is because the parasites are eating the first two times. And on the third time, they're letting you get something to eat. You're not even feeding you no more. You're feeding all the microbes, bacteria, germs, and viruses that exist within you. It's the facts. Yo, I really got to bounce. When I start getting getting it in, I'll be getting it in. I, <laughs> I got to bounce. I had a little meeting across town. Brought the whole family. It was nice, but I got to get back where I like to be. So, I'm going to holler at you guys. I'm going to get up with you. Remember, it's brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. You leave your full name, your phone number. You get that course. Yes, the credit thing is good. Yes, having access to six figures and all that is powerful. But what good is all the money that you make if you're going to die sick and hurt and in pain and watch your loved ones over you crying for you as well? If you keep guessing what to eat, you're going to be in a very bad space. Don't wait until you get sick and then start measuring how much blood sugar you got coming in and all that's fucking insane why don't you start measuring that shit now so you don't go over there it's obvious you need to know about that because it's obvious you need to know about these things when you get sick so do the math reverse osmosis you feel what i'm saying <laughs> that's all it is stop calculating everything once you get sick to make sure you don't go over the top to avoid cut getting your leg cut off and start doing it now i know it sounds annoying like damn i gotta do all this math and and calculation in order to stay alive yes it's the least you could do it's the least you could do. It's the least you could do. And you'll feel so great, you'll be glad. Because the thing is, once you learn it, it ain't. It don't take much thought. You'll just be on a program. You'll just be on a program. It's not even difficult. There's so many different food variations you can put together. It's not like you got to be limited, but you'll realize you don't need that much food. So the type of regimen, now you know I coined terms because of my specification. The type of regimen that I qualify, how I eat or uh, dietary wise I call it a vegan paleo uh, algae diet I call it a vegan paleo algae diet because the paleo diets are very powerful that's that we're talking about paleolithic man or paleolithic paleolithic era and that's when uh, we didn't have refined sugar and processed foods and factories so basically you're omitting all of that and you're putting yourself in a frame where your body genetically 
references a time before that and you was at, uh, moving at an optimal strength. Like when you look at the, the previous generation, you can see like our grandparents, their shoulders were a lot broader. Uh, if you look at boxing, they was fighting a hundred damn rounds. That's unheard of. Today we're fighting 12 rounds and people could barely make it to the 12th round. And no one's asking what the hell happened to humanity that they're way weaker. It seems like we're getting weaker as we go forward. We're getting smarter and paradoxically weaker at the same time. So another conversation. But I'm going to build with y'all. I got to really bounce. I love, I love doing this. I love what I do. I got so much I be wanting to share. Uh, take this free information into account and start making a change in your life. Peace and blessings. Yeah, Jack Johnson was fighting 100 rounds. Yes, if you do the research, the elders was fighting 100 rounds, family. Facts.